Hi, I'm Kimberly Durden and I'm a board certified lactation consultant. I've been helping moms and babies breastfeed for over 20 years. I'd like to show you in this video how to position your baby for breastfeeding. The first most important thing that you must do moms is to get yourself comfortable first. It's important that you have back support. So you're going to want to choose a comfortable chair or if you're using your bed, you're going to want to put lots of pillows behind you. So chair or bed, you're going to want to put pillows behind you so that your back is well supported. You also want to be prepared to have water or snacks next to you because especially in the early days and weeks, you're going to be sitting and nursing your baby for long periods of time. And if you have water or a snack nearby, you won't have to get up from feeding when you're hungry. After you get yourself comfortable, you're going to want to create a comfortable kind of nest for your baby. You can do that by using simply bed pillows. You'll put the bed pillow in your lap and you'll use this to place the baby on. This helps bring the baby up closer to breast height. So depending on what position you decide to use, you might put the pillow in the front of you or you might put the pillow off to the side of you to place your baby on. You can also use pillows such as couch pillows to provide additional support and to help bring the baby up closer to breast height if needed. There are also specially designed pillows specifically for nursing called nursing pillows. Many times they're shaped so that the pillow itself can fit very snugly around mom's waist. And then you'll, you will place your baby on this pillow. It'll bring the baby up to breast height and you can use this for front positions where you're nursing your baby or the side position. Some nursing pillows even come with extra pockets so that you can keep things that you might need to have easily accessible to you, such as a, a burp cloth or teething ring or even the remote control for your TV. So let's start going through the positions. I'm going to show you now some of the most common positions that moms use to nurse their baby. I start by of course getting myself comfortable and then putting on my nursing pillow, attaching it to myself and making it very close to my body so there are no gaps. I'll take my baby and place them on the pillow and roll their body close to me. The first position that I'm going to do is the cradle hold. Baby is on the pillow, their head rests in the crook of my arm and I'll use my opposite hand to support my breast. In this way, I'll work to latch my baby onto the breast. The next position that I'm going to show you is called the cross cradle hold. The cradle hold, as I mentioned, is a very common position, but the cross cradle hold is a great hold for newborn babies. This allows moms to have more control over the baby's body, but your baby will move and squiggle a lot. So the cross cradle hold actually helps you to control their body a little better. The way you do the cross cradle hold is that, again, you would make sure that you're in a comfortable chair or if you're in the bed, you have pillows behind you. You'll put your nursing pillow on and you'll take your baby, lining them up nose to nipple and turning them on their side so that their body is facing your body. With the cross cradle hold, you'll use one hand and arm to support the entire length of the baby's body. Your hand that's supporting the baby will go here at the crook of their neck. Your opposite hand will support your breast. With this arm, you can bring the baby onto your breast. And a lot of moms find this really helpful when they're first learning to breastfeed their baby because it gives them more control. I want to mention that pushing on the back of your baby's head is not recommended. Babies usually don't like that too much and they'll respond to that by pulling back away from mom's breast. So keep those hands down and at the nape of the baby's neck. When you're supporting your breast, you want to make sure that you're supporting your breast and you're not pinching or squeezing your areola or your nipple. So the next position that I'm going to show you is called the football hold. And I'll demonstrate it with bed pillows, although you can use your nursing pillow as well. So you'll take your pillow and you'll put it towards the side of you. 
because in the football hole position, your baby is going to go on your side. Put the pillow on the side and place your baby on the pillow. And you'll also want to scooch your baby back so that the baby's nose is aligned with your nipple. In saying that, your baby's bottom will probably hit the back of whatever you're leaning against, and your baby's feet can actually kind of go up or they can kind of fold Buddha style, and all that works just fine. So you want your baby scooched back really far. You'll place your hand underneath the baby at the nape of the neck, as I mentioned in the cross cradle hold. So you're avoiding doing this, but you're bringing your hand down to the nape of the baby's neck. You can support your breast with your opposite hand and do all the motions to encourage the baby to open wide by tickling the nipple underneath the baby's nose. And when the baby opens wide, you're just gonna bring the baby onto your areola. Football hold works great for moms with larger breasts. Also sometimes helps with babies who have tongues that are a little short and aren't quite extending over the bottom gum line. So it, it can actually help when moms are having some latch on problems. So if you're having difficulty latching your baby in the cradle hold or the cross cradle hold, try the football hold. Sometimes it can be a little easier for your baby. So the next way that I'd like to show you how to latch on your baby is called baby led latching. And it's actually a way that your baby will latch themselves onto the breast. So we're not using a definitive position we actually start by just allowing the baby to be in between mom's breasts. And moms can do this in a skin-to-skin -skin fashion where the baby has on nothing but their diaper. The mom can have her shirt completely off and she will just rest the baby in between her breasts. The baby has natural instincts which are going to help them guide themselves to one breast or the other. And at that time, when your baby chooses which side they want to go to, you can kind of help the baby position themselves by moving their bottom to the op in the opposite direction of the breast that they've chosen. One of my favorite nursing positions is lying down and nursing, and other people call it side lying. So what you're going to do when you side lie is you're going to lie on your side and you're going to place the baby on its side facing you. You'll want to place the baby nose to nipple and you can latch your baby on while you're lying down. This is an excellent way for moms to get rest while they're nursing. You just wanna make sure that you keep pillows and heavy blankets, quilts or comforters away from your baby. So mom can use pillows to support her head, neck and shoulders, but she'll wanna keep pillows away from her baby when she does the side lying position. So we've gone over five different breastfeeding positions. There are many more, and I hope this helps you find the best positions for you and your baby. Thanks for watching.